Lena, lovely to see you here in Singapore. We thought we'd said goodbye to you in Wuhan, but you're here now. And what do you think is the significance of the WTA finals being in Singapore? So you guys must be tired to, to see me, right? Not at all. No, I think it was pretty, pretty exciting, you know, like first year in Singapore, like for Asia fans, they can like face to face to see top eight player to have an amazing tournament or amazing match in here. I think, yeah, most happy was Asia fans. And how are you feeling being here, but not actually being playing and, and playing the matches? I, th I, I think it was more relaxed because I don't have to worry when wake up, what I should do, how is the schedule. Just like, oh, I just come to be like fans, to watching their play, their practice. And now you've retired, do you ever think about what you might have done if you hadn't chosen tennis as your career? Do you think about what you might have done instead? I, I really, I think for my whole life, one thing is a very good choice to, to be amazing family, one of, one of them. Like, i really happy I chose the tennis, you know, the, in the world so many sports, but tennis is an amazing sport. One people on the court, you have to be like coach, you have to be like player, also you have to against so many things, also yourself. So even I was retired, I still try to have a tennis academy in China to help to help more children. And is that what you see as your as your legacy in tennis, being able to give something back to the next generation? This is what I wish. Because you know now I think China, tennis in China was pretty pretty good. It's hundred times better than before. So, uh, so I was also now so many children they like to pick up a tennis racket. So I think I, if I have the chance, I will make one area to give their chance also to to be the professional tennis player. And now, what are you most looking forward to in your retirement? Well, two things: wish can have tennis academy or be a mom. <laughs>